Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill, I'm a fourth generation witch. Today we're looking at a little Samhain ritual that I do to honour this time of year because Samhain is almost a season is it not, not just a single day. And this time of year is all about the spirits, the spirits of the divine, the spirits of the land, the spirits of our ancestors. So come with me whilst I walk round and I'll show you what I use and why and see if we can find anything along the way of interest. And then we'll do our Samhain ritual that you can do at home. I find Samhain such a joyous time of the year. It is the witch's Halloween. And this is one of the ways that I celebrate it. With autumn now at its height, there is so much to be seen, looked at, picked up and found from the grounds around us. The seeds are at their height and the berries have all set. And as you can see, there is a gloriousness about it all, which I love at this time of year. What I particularly wanted to show you was this incredible beech tree. It is truly magnificent, is it not? And it is here that I'm going to find a couple of the items that I need to cast my next spell. The ground under a beech tree is ripe pickings. It is normally filled with beech mast, and I've come to find some beech nuts. They look like this, small little brown things, and I need four or five of them. Make sure when you choose them that they haven't got a hole in them because that shows they've been eaten by some animal. We've now reached a waypoint or a crossroads. I do not encourage people to tarry by crossroads simply because they are known to be places where spirits gather. So our ancestors would hang people at crossroads and this is now marked today by these red signposts that you see about the countryside. And suicides were buried there because they were not allowed in church land. Crossroads represent limbo, a location between two worlds a place where you can contact supernatural forces and deals with the devil can be made. Halloween is the time when the spirits come out and at midnight on Halloween you can question them at a crossroads. We've come further into the wood because I wanted to show you this, which is the Spanish chestnut. They are beautiful. I love these colours that they go at this time of year. However, I think this chestnut is too young or something because I cannot find any chestnuts in the branches. And also, there doesn't seem to be any remnants that have dropped to the floor. We shall have to move on further up the hill and into the fields. Let's see what the pasture brings us. It is particularly beautiful on the top of the hill, especially today. The sun just came out as we approached it. It's really one of the places that I love the most, especially for walking the dogs. I wanted to see if I could find any remaining sticks or twigs that came from this fallen ash tree, which many of you will remember held a dryad until its demise recently. But sadly, they've all been taken by the birds. However, as I was looking around, this did catch my eye, and that is a wonderful hawthorn brush. Look at the berries on this. It is truly magnificent. One of the magical trees of ancient witches. If you see hawthorns aplenty, it means a hard winter is coming. The last of this year's bounty can still be found in the hedgerows, but sadly they are getting fewer and further between. The woods are beginning to lose their green bloom and take on their winter mantle, but still, at the moment, 
they are beautiful. It is this sweet chestnut that I am really heading towards though because I happen to know that it will have dropped thousands of chestnuts for my benefit as well as all the other creatures of the wood. Horse chestnuts were known as trees of life because they could sustain whole villages with their seeds throughout the months of winter. I'm going to take four or five of these for my spell and the rest I'm going to eat. The reason I have chosen seeds for this spell is because they have the most explosive and powerful energy within them, for from small acorns do mighty oaks grow, and you can use any seeds that you can find, because seed energy is seriously strong. So this is my ritual to honour the ancestors at this Samhain time, and of course we have to set our stage and light our candles. I've cleansed my working area and now I'm going to set up the board that I will use as a circle to help my spell. As previously mentioned, seeds have this incredible energy and one of the best ways to honour the ancestors is with seeds because on some level they can use the energy contained within the seeds and grow with it. And so that is why we use them. I like a few vine leaves for decoration, and of course you may put whatever you like on your honouring of the ancestors, but for me, this just looks nice. And finally, take your wand, and I have got some red ribbon around mine for protection, and using it, I cast my spell to ask the ancestors to come and take this offering and bless my home. I so hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Or come and join me on Patreon. There's plenty there for everyone, from unseen Ginny Metherall to joining the coven. Otherwise, I hope you have a happy Samhain, because it is a very joyful time of year.